Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. I'm sure by now you've all seen the recently released photographs of Chris and Nicole and their dates and I'm, I noticed the tank top Nikki was wearing, the hips, lips, and hot rods. And it made me think of their little visit to the Bandemir Speedway where they went to the Mile High NHRA Nationals on July the 21st of 2018. So I went back in the Discovery to look at their little date and the planning that Chris did prior to that date. Back on Wednesday, June the 27th, Shanann and her daughters flew to North Carolina. Only three days later, on June the 30th, which was a Saturday, Chris searched the internet for information on tickets to the Bandemere Speedway. So he was planning almost a month in advance to go to the drag races. So let's take a look at what Chris did the day prior to going to the drag races with Nikki. It was Friday, July the 20th, 2018, and at 1.59 a.m., Chris logged in to Snapchat. Then he went on a Google searching spree from approximately 5 p.m. until almost 8 p.m. And at 5.04 p.m., Chris searched Google for the best beer in Colorado. Between 5.23 p.m. and 7.57 p.m., Chris searched Google for CVS Pharmacy in Westminster, Colorado, which that would be down close to Nicole. Then he searched for D.C. Oaks Brew House and Eatery. So maybe that was one of the best beers in Colorado because that is an hour north of Frederick and would be an hour and a half north of North Glen where Nikki lived. Then he proceeded to Google the Bandemere ticket office for the NHRA National scheduled for July the 21st, 2018. And he searched the 24-hour fitness locations in Westminster and Thornton. Those would both be down closer to Nikki's house. So after his three-hour Googling spree, he proceeded to transfer assorted images of Kessinger, some semi-nude, into his secret calculator application. Okay, so that takes us on to Saturday, July the 21st, 2018. At 7.43 a.m., Chris talked to Shanann and held a 20-minute phone conversation. At 10.34 a.m., Chris transferred images of Kessinger into his secret calculator application. At 1.58 p.m., Chris sent a phone message via text to Shanann saying, headed out to the track, boo. I will text you when I get there. With no mention of this in his previous messages to Shanann, Watts likely provided a concocted ruse regarding his plans to visit the Speedway via an early, earlier phone call. I haven't found any further information in the discovery indicating who Chris told Shanann he was going to the Speedway with. But however, based on this text, she did know he was going. Watson Kessinger also stopped at the Rooftop Tavern in Morrison prior to going to the Speedway. That takes us to 6.18 p.m. through 8.39 p.m. Using his phone, Watts filmed assorted clips of dragsters at the Bandemere Speedway. And there are list several images that he took on his phone, so that just makes me wonder if they will be releasing more images and video from his phone since it's been a while since they released these newly released videos and images. Wonder if they'll be releasing these. Throughout the time frame, Chris also Googled topics like Top Fuel Dragster Burnout and Top Fuel Dragster Goes Airborne. 
probably to show little Nikki. So, I'm sure you're all wondering where you two can get a tank top just like Nikki's with the hips, lips, and hot rods. Well, apparently you will have to go to one of the NHRA races where they have the merchandise trailers. This is a shirt by Nitro Fish, and they sell them at the races. They have the trailers, sell the merchandise with the drivers on them, and the t-shirts, and the hats, and things. But that's where I believe Chris bought her this tank top. I'm sure he probably bought it for her. And you can see here what the trailer looks like, and the little display where they sell the tank top. And, so if you break it down to what Chris probably spent that day, approximately $200. He probably spent $100 or so on tickets, plus or minus, depending on which tickets he got. They went to the rooftop tavern, and I'm estimating $40, give or take. The tank top, with tax, probably $30. Some snacks at the raceway, $15, and they probably had to pay for parking and then gas to get there. So, he's having all these financial problems, but he's spending $200 on a date with little Miss Nikki. So, there you go. There's where you two can dress like Nikki. Thanks for watching. Keep listening if you would like to hear my imitation of Nikki's voicemail to Chris. Hi, <laughs> it's me. I miss your face. I was just calling to say hi. Call me back. Bye. Hi, <laughs> it's me. I miss your face. I was just calling to say hi. Call me back. Bye. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> it's me, it's me. I miss your face. 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 I miss your face